How's it going? Andrew here. I just wanted to make this uh, quick video to address the question I get frequently when people hear about my film um, or they've seen it and that's generally uh, why cyberpunk, why, why this genre. It's a very, very good question. What part of it is, you know, like most filmmakers, uh, they kind of grow up with certain genres and, and they are very close to it, you know, because it's part of their childhood. And uh, uh, my, my mom uh, introduced me around 12 or so uh, to Terminator 1 and 2 because I was very intrigued by the plot of Terminator. And in fact, um, I made a... <laughs> Uh, my first ever comic book, which is uh, a Terminator spin-off called Terminator Echo, or yeah, just Terminator Echo, I think is what it's called. And then in high school, I made a fan film inspired by the comic called Terminator Echo Storm, which if you want to laugh, please watch the film. <laughs> Terminator, Echo, Storm. It's, uh, I think my third ever YouTube video. I just kind of grew up with watching these movies and then uh, Blade Runner I found very, very fascinating as well. Just this near future kind of very dark, gritty, uh, noir world and uh, I found that very fascinating. You know, of course, I was really into James Bond and gadgets and, and uh, you know, action movies. Found it very kind of a natural um, transgression, if you will. The reason why I like cyberpunk so much out of all the different sub-genres of science fiction is it's the most I feel grounded in reality, you know, like the social commentary element of it, especially later when I saw Robocop. Because when you watch Robocop for the first time, it's an amazing action film, it's just an incredible action film. But then when you watch Robocop like a second time, you pick up on all the social commentary stuff that's really subtle. just makes it feel more flesh out, more organic, like you're there. Their message, the social commentary and stuff was more subtle and it left it to the viewer to basically, you need to decide is Deckard a replicant or is a human? You know, they'd leave that up to the audience to, to decide. The augmented reality, which is gonna be uh, integral part of the story. And it, just that alone, I'm really excited about, you know, like it's commonplace in this world in the near future of Ben Locker where most people have these augment or this, uh, excuse me, bionic contact lenses or glasses. It's completely first person perspective, right? You know, it's like whatever they're seeing in their own augmented reality is what they're seeing. It's just hilarious because I just totally envision a scene where like someone who doesn't have any implants or any of this gadgetry goes into a bar and they see all these like teens on a virtual date or AR date and but to the naked eye to just that person it looks like they're talking to themselves so I feel like it's just interesting, you know, it's like, well, how, how would that change how we interact? You know, you already have social media and everyone's staring at a phone. I've seen Instagram ads for glasses now that you wear and it has like a little heads up display. So, I mean, we're already pretty much there. So, you know, you got to have the gadgets and, you know, the implants, some of the implants that you'll see. You, you can upgrade and get different kinds and that's going to play into uh, this story a lot. Well, you have the main villain, Kane, and he has the hand blades that come out right here. Definitely a good fight scene in store for that. So that's cool. Um, and then I'm thinking he should also have like little spikes in the elbows or something. And he's like, you know what I mean? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know if it's obvious that, you know, we drew some inspiration. Uh, from John Wick. Action has to be good. The set pieces for the action has to play like a role that's integral. Like it just, all this needs to be in there. And same with Into the Badlands as well. It's like it, the action just needs to be like interwoven, but it needs to be motivated. But anyway, I not to ramble, I could go on forever. Peace.